Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to green beauty, and I am back with a product review for the Pacifica Stellar Gaze Mineral Mascara. I took it out of the box, this is it. Boom, boom, gave this a shot, I put it on my lashes, and I'm gonna tell you what I thought about it. So if you're into that, you wanna know more about that, then uh, stick around. Okay, here we go. You're catching me right before I put on my mascara and my bronzer, so this is again one of those kind of mid get ready with me videos. Just figure it's a better way to review a product so you can see the before and after. Hopefully you like that, that's what I like to see, so hopefully you like to see that too. I don't know. One quick thing about my free green beauty guide because it's out there. If you're freaking out about switching over to non-toxic beauty, check it out. Link above, link below in the description. It will help you. It's the one pager I wish I had when I first started out. Really, that's why I made it. Without further ado, now I'm gonna take you right into me trying. What is this? What is that? Like a frizz, what is going on? I don't even. Let's get into me putting this on my lashes. Here we go. Okay, so let's take the mascara out of the box because that's gonna be helpful. I have it in the color Supernova, which is jet black. And I have done the majority of my face already, so I've done pretty much all the things except for mascara. I haven't done bronzer, I haven't done lips. <laughs> to self, don't paint your nails and then do a get ready with me video. Just saying. Here is the Stellar Gaze Length and Strength Mineral Mascara, and it is a fresh, brand spanking new, I haven't even used it yet, on my eyeballs. Usually, if you've been watching the channel, then you know that I use a primer. I feel like it sort of skews the actual review, so I'm gonna try it on one eye without a primer and one eye with a primer. When I go about my day, I'm gonna look a little strange, but like, it's okay, I'm willing to sacrifice that for you. So I'm gonna pop this on and then as I do that, I'm going to do my little review. Here we go. Um, let's look at the wand. Oh, I love the bigger wands. I don't know how you guys feel about wands. I like the chunkier, thicker wands. Seem to work a little bit better for me than those thin ones. It's very particular. Mirror's right here, by the way. Okay. Kinda didn't wanna do my right eye without the primer, but anyway. All right, it's going on. Here we go. Lengthening. I don't know. It's going on really nicely though, I will say. Not clumping yet. We do a couple of different layers. I would say it's defining. I wouldn't say it's thickening. I do have an eyeliner on, which might skew it a little bit visually for you all, but I can see up close. It is definitely a good solid jet black. Let's see if it's buildable. I would say yeah, totally. So the second coat is definitely doing a lot more for me. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Honest Beauty Mascara that I used for so long. Clumping, I do not see any clumps, yay. Let's double check the product description. It's supposed to have coconut and vitamin B, it's supposed to nourish your lashes. Great, I don't want something that doesn't do that. I mean, it's an added bonus, but I do so many things to do that anyway, like castor oil and castor oil and also, right, um, there's castor oil. Use that anyway at night. Don't, don't do it in the morning before you apply something because It'll get everywhere. It's nice that they have those added nourishing qualities. I would say it's working pretty well without the primer. The only thing here before I get too far in is that I looked this up on the Think Dirty app and y'all know at this point that I like to use products that are a three on the EWG scale or below. If it exceeds above that, I usually will not use it, especially at this stage in the game because I've tried so many different products that it's like, I found a better alternative that's cleaner. And I have one, which is the Fit Glow Vegan Good Lash. So if this is above a three, then I'm not gonna use it. And FYI, it's a four, which is not that far above a three, but these are the rules, or at least this is my rule that I like to go by. Again, these are super personal. It's whatever you feel comfortable with in your lifestyle. This is the ding for this mascara. It does reach a four on the EWG scale. So I will continue reviewing it for you because maybe you're okay with the four. Maybe that's fine for you. No judgment, no judgment. Really, I'm not the person that's going 100% non-toxic. Haven't really had a discussion about that yet on the channel. Maybe I'll do a separate review on it, or maybe I'll just talk about it here. It's like the fifth layer. Those of you who are okay with a four, this is definitely lengthening, and by the fourth or fifth layer, I don't know how many, I usually put on a ton of layers of mascara. Is that just me? I mean, I don't know. It's separating the lashes really, really well. It's not really clumping still. I guess it's a little bit of clumpage, but not much. Color is really defined and lengthening, I would say it's not super thickening. Just know that. If you are cool with above a four, 
before and this could be a really solid contender. It's $14, by the way, I forgot to mention that, which in the green beauty space is a really great price point if you're okay with a four. The reason it does hit four, by the way, is because of an ingredient called cross polymer. The Think Dirty app pulled this up for me, so Thank you, Think Dirty. Sometimes you're great, sometimes you're not, but most of the time you're great, so we'll stick to that. They said that the cross polymer is an issue because of cross contamination with known carcinogens. So kind of brings me back to that other point I was talking about, about not going 100% with beauty and non-toxic beauty. The other eye with primer and see how it goes. Listen, I think that if you wanna go 100% non-toxic with your beauty, go for it. There's nothing wrong with that. I think that's fantastic, but personally, I'm not going to do that. That's why I picked that number three to kind of be my North Star when I'm switching from toxic to non-toxic. Something takes up a larger surface area. It applies to the majority of my skin as opposed to an eyelash. I'm gonna scrutinize that product more than I would other products because it's like, it's going all over your face. I would say that's the one you'd wanna swap out first and make sure that that's as non-toxic as possible. Okay, living with a little bit of the threes and the twos and the ones, even though the ones aren't that bad. I'm using the Revital Ash Primer, by the way, more about knowing what's inside. Once I know that, then I can do my research and I can make an informed decision. And at this point, I already said it, but I found so many great alternatives that it goes too far above it. It's an easy decision for me to go, I don't need that one, I have another option. Just putting it out there that you don't have to do 100% non-toxic if you think that that's unrealistic for your lifestyle as well, as it was for mine. This is interesting, so to get back to the reviewing of this mascara, without primer, you see the lengthening, you see the jet black high drama. With primer, you get all of that, but with the primer, the lashes are a little more thickened, get a little bit more of a thickening. I don't know what it does, it's just kind of like a magical thing. This is totally staying put where it needs to. I'm not seeing any flaking. Certain times with different mascaras that I've tried, I've seen them and they've sort of flaked a little bit because of the formula. The formula is a little bit thicker here, which I happen to really, really like. I don't like too liquid of a formula. I think I tried something from Tarte and it was, it just sort of glided on, but then made my actual eyelashes look tiny, 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 super, super thin. I don't know what it was, but usually those mascaras that have the thinner formulas, for me, not my jam. I like something that's a little bit thicker. I also like a thicker brush, so this is kind of check, check there. It's not gonna be my go-to because of the ranking of four, but I'm just kind of walking you through it. Overall for $14, I think this is a solid option. If you're using a 10 right now, if you're using something that's very, very toxic, this is a great option to switch to if you're looking for something that does lengthen and has a little bit better of a standing in terms of toxic ingredients versus not. Just wanna finish real quickly the rest of my face. And I am trying to get ready. I am trying to get ready and I am trying to leave my house. So I'm just gonna pop some bronzer on, just still looking at the mascara, seeing how it's holding up. No, I don't hate it without primer. This is one of the very few mascaras that I could say it does what it says it's gonna do with primer and without it. I don't say that often. Usually it's a very stark contrast between the two. I'm just gonna pop on my bronzer. It's from Well People. I love it. It's been in a number of my reviews and I just kind of blend it in. I don't have a line of demarcation, AKA demarcation, you know what I mean? Bronzer, check. Not doing blush today, I'm just not. I don't feel like it, I don't wanna. I just got this French girl lip tint. I'm so excited about, it's cute. Mm. Give it a little. Girl, Veronique. What? So, I have a liner. Oh, oh that's nice. Pretty subtle. I feel more French already, not really. But on the edge, talking and applying lip gloss, balm. Balm, tint, all the things. Oh, it's minty. Oh, I have to do a review on this. Okay, back to the mascara. Um, final verdict, that's not the mascara. The final verdict here, I would say, definitely worth a shot if you are okay with a four or above on the EWG scale. If you're like me, I am so not even at that point where I know the numbers. I just need something that's cleaner to use on my eyes that doesn't look like water, doesn't make my lashes clump, don't wanna spend 25 to $35 for it, then I would say definitely give this Pacifica Stellar Gaze Length and Strength Mineral Mascara for 14 bucks a chance. I will say the one thing that's standing out here is that with primer versus without primer, lash primer, I can tell very little difference and that's exciting. Like that really, it never happens. Okay, here's the side without the primer. With the primer, got it. 
So that should be another testament to how cool this mascara is and what it can do for your lashes. If you like a thicker brush. Some people really don't like a thicker brush. I love it. But if you're cool with that, then I think you'll also like this. If you only have a few lashes and you're really working on strengthening your lashes, I would definitely, definitely suggest moving from a more toxic alternative to something that's less toxic because you need to create a nourishing environment for your lashes. I did a review on castor oil, one of the top videos I've done because I know a lot of women out there have lash problems. Lashes are just breaking and going away and you're like, where are my lashes going? It really did work for me. Um, I would definitely recommend doing that, but just get something that's nourishing like that, do a nice time treatment and then really look into a solid moisturizing nourishing mascara uh, for your little lashes because they need some help too a lot of people say whatever i don't care if it's toxic it's just going on my eyelashes like what does that even matter it still kind of matters i know it's not as big of a surface area as your entire face and the skin on your face i get that but it matters you don't want to put any harsh chemicals there either if only to maintain the health of your precious precious lashes there it is that is the review for the pacifica mascara i'm holding it kind of that's like a hard way to hold it huh it's like a balancing act that's all i have for today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure you give a thumbs up to support the channel and as always don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another video like this one for all my current subscribers my style shaker squad Mwah. love you guys so glad to have you here i cannot wait until i get to hang out with you next time until then bye say hi to the people oh but yeah okay you go back to sleep bye.